video, I'm going to show you how to edit a PDF document or a PDF form in Microsoft Edge. Now, in order to do that, I need to first find out the document, the PDF form. So uh, let me first search for uh, uh, a document in the web. Okay, so I'm just typing incoming passenger card. Okay, so this is just from Australia Border Force. So what they do is like they provide an incoming passenger card uh, the, for the persons who are like uh, who come to Australia. So they need to fill this form. So this is just one example. Okay, you can pick up any document. I don't have any PDF, so I'm just picking up the passenger card sample from here. So there's one incoming passenger card in English. So I've downloaded this. Now, once I click on it, it automatically opens an Edge browser. Okay, so uh, this is one way, okay? The other way is like, uh, say, take for example, if you have this stored in your, uh, say, document library, okay? So let's take, for example, uh, this file is already there, already downloaded, okay? Uh, so let me close this and I'll show you how to open it in Edge as well. Okay, so if you minimize this Edge uh, browser, then uh, here you will find this document. Okay, now what you can do in the PDF document, you can just drag and drop. So I'm just dragging and dropping the PDF document and that's how you uh, open the PDF document in Edge browser. Okay, so the document is open now. Now, what are the things which we can do? One is like we can fit to width. So if I do a fit to width, I can see some uh, you know, text content of the form. And uh, it's a PDF form, basically. And I'll just show you how to edit this. Now, there are various options available over here. We can either do a rotation. If you want to rotate it from clockwise or counterclockwise, we can do that. Uh, then we have a page view. So if you want to view it by single page or two page, I can view it parallelly side by side depending on how you are comfortable you can first set the document okay so i'm comfortable with single page copy uh, and then i'm going to start filling this form so how to fill this form is say here it's in block right so one one option is to use the pencil okay so if i pick up say color black okay and maybe a very thin pencil or pen uh, then I'll just click outside and then I'll start putting in my name. So I'll just put U P P A L. But as you see, like uh, I'm using mouse to fill this and so it is not coming very proper, you know, and also I, it's not properly legible. Okay. So this option, uh, no, I don't want to use it. So I can erase this off. So I'll use an eraser and this erase this off. So that's not the right option. Other option is pick up a text box. So I'll click on add text. Now here, I'll select the add text icon and here I will just click. Okay, I'll just click here and just leave the click over there and just type the information. So I'll just put UPPAL. So that's my surname. Okay, and I'll just minimize this. Okay, and with this, I'll just select and I'll just drag. I can drag it anywhere on the screen, right? So I'm just going to put it over here. Now, as you see over here, it is not correctly fitting in the boxes okay so it is not fitting correctly in the boxes so what i'm going to do here there is an option to increase the text spacing or decrease so i'll just increase it so if i just increase it you see here what's happening so i'll just increase this i'm just increasing this and so it has automatically picked up a proper spacing okay but still it is not proper what I'm going to do, I'm going to decrease the text size. So I'm just decreasing the text size. So you can decrease it whatever level you want. But I'm going to bit increase this so that it aligns correctly. And then I'll make this correct adjustment. So now if I click outside, you can see the information is now properly inputted into the form. So let's give it another try. Let me again pick up this text control, add text, and then I'll just click here and then I'll start putting my name. Now here again, if I click outside, you can see that it's still not aligned correctly. So then I'm just gonna drag it here. And now here, I want to just uh, increase the spacing. Let me increase the spacing. And as you see over here, this is now correctly aligned. So now I've filled my surname and the given name. I can fill other important information as well over here. So mostly it is like text uh, uh, information. Also, if you see the document says that you need to put X 
uh, if you want to declare something, right? So either you put X over here or here, so yes or no. So here, uh, you do not have a specific control over here. It's just text, so make use of small x, okay? So either use a big x or a capital X or a small x. I'll use a small x. And again, that's it. I'll just minimize this and try to align this in the box. And like this, I can put it over here as well. So I'll just put this x over here. And from here, I'll just put no and again, no. So like this, I have filled this form. So, so this is just an example. How do you uh, basically edit a PDF document and uh, save this information? Now, uh, there will be many use cases whereby in your machine, there might not be a PDF uh, editor or you may not know how to edit a PDF document. So uh, every uh, machine mostly has an Edge browser. So you can use Edge browser without using any third party tool and uh, uh, fill up the PDF uh, content uh, or the PDF form or a PDF document. Now, once you're done with this, what you can do is like if, say, let's assume if you have filled all this information, okay, once you're done with this, you can click on either save as or save. Save will overwrite it. Or if I just say save as, then it will start asking you the name of the document. I'll say Girish uh, incoming passenger card. And then it will save the document okay so like this the document is now saved now if you want to again open the document i've already opened the document and if you want to see what all things you have filled yes it's all there you can again come back to this document if you change your mind uh, if you said that okay no i have uh, <clears throat> some information which i want to make, make it as no you can then again edit this document and you can place the content accordingly and then you just click on save you can also print the document if you want. So you can either print this as a PDF or you can send it across to the printer. So uh, multiple options have level. And if you want to view this in a uh, fit to width or a full screen, you can even do that. If you put an F11, then you can view this document in a full screen. Or as I mentioned to you, you can view it in a single page or two page separately so that you get a complete holistic view of the document. And then you can start uh, your further edits. Also, in the document, there is, uh, say, uh, signature, OK? So uh, I'll just open it in single page view. And here, there is a signature option. So either here, you can put your name directly. So I can pick up text, and I'll just put my name over here, OK, like this. Or maybe if this is not representing a signature, I'll just delete it. I can make use of pen, OK? And then I can start scribbling my signature, OK? So I'll just type in my signature over here okay it is not that comfortable uh, <laughs> or uh, you, you will not get the perfect pitch but then if you use this in a document in a tablet and if you have a stylus then uh, then definitely you can get that complete signature look okay so this is how you basically edit a pdf document in microsoft edge without even having any uh, Adobe related documents or Microsoft related applications installed within your system. Thanks for watching.